In the previous video, we learned about the button component, which allows us to trigger actions based on user interaction. However, there are times when we need to trigger actions on the press of other elements, such as images or text. To address this requirement, React Native provides a component called Pressable. Pressable is a wrapper component that detects various stages of press interactions on its defined children. Let's switch back to VS Code and explore an example to better understand its usage. Now what I've done is behind the scenes included an image component and a text component. Both of these are components we've already seen a few videos earlier. If we take a look at the two devices, we have the button from the last video, the image component, and then the long text component. Let's now get started with the pressable component. To begin, import pressable component from React Native. Next, wrap the desired elements with pressable to detect press interaction. In our example, we'll wrap both the image and text components. So the image component is now a child of Pressable, and so is the text component. Similar to the button component, the Pressable component accepts the onPress prop to handle the press event. Let's add it. Let's add onPress with an event handler. It's going to be an arrow function that logs to the console, image pressed. Similarly, on press, console.log, text pressed. Now let's return to the simulator and verify the code. When we press the text component, you will see the corresponding log statement. Press on Android, and we see the log statement. Press on the image, and we see image pressed. On the iOS device, press the image, and we see image pressed log. Our pressable components are working as expected. If you feel that the native button component doesn't meet your app's requirements, you can create a custom button using the pressable component. Just a heads up in case you want to build one from scratch. In addition to onPress, the pressable component supports several other events you can listen to. OnPressIn is called when a press is activated. On long press is triggered when a press is held for longer than 500 milliseconds. And on press out is called when the press gesture is deactivated. Here is a great visualization from the React Native docs. After triggering on press in, the user removes their finger, triggering on press out, which is followed by on press. However, if the user keeps their finger pressed for more than 500 milliseconds, after on press in, on long press is triggered, followed by on press out. As an exercise, I encourage you to add these props to the pressable component on the image and handle the events to ensure they trigger as expected. Let me know in the comment section if they all work as expected. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.